Greetings in the name of the Messiah is King Yadiya, aka King Solomon, staying wise in life and in these markets. And today is Monday, the 18th of July 2022. I'm in a live trade right now on Apple. Probably gonna get stopped out real quick, but I'm gonna give you a little breakdown on how I took this trade. Um, let's see, let's start with the Camarilla levels. All right, so last Friday we had um, S3 at 146.91. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we had S3 at 150.04. Now today we have S3 at 149.43. And R3 is at 150.90. So we have a overlapping higher value, right? So Apple has been looking quite bullish for for a couple of days now i think the whole of last week they had like a little run-up actually let's let's pull out let's pull out the chart here let's pull out the slower time frame right so we had this bullish run-up since what day was this since the 14th we've been having this run-up here into today right so we had a nice little gap up today into r4 all right let's come back down to the five minute chart all right so let's make this a little bigger so we have an overlapping higher value and we're looking for longs right <clears throat> given that um price action does not reject the thesis right so well it's an overlapping higher value which is moderately bullish according to um the pivot boss theory if you want to go check out that book pivot boss um secrets of a pivot boss by frank ochoa you can check that out on amazon so according to that theory and the camarilla theory is that when it's an overlapping higher value we're supposed to be looking for a moderately bullish day right and the thing is, there's always a flip side to, to the theory, right? Because if if we're looking for a higher value, right? We're looking for bullishness, right? Now, in the pre-market, let me move this uh, around a little bit. In the pre-market here, we could see that price, price kind of, it opened at around R4. Let me just pull this back out. So we opened around R4 and we kind of hovered around R4, lost R4 at around 8 o'clock, lost R4, hit R3, and just held below VWAP straight into the open, right? So as we opened, we had this doji candle. So let me just make this chart bigger now. Hold on. Let's make this chart bigger. right so into the open we had this kind of doji candle right here and then um i went short right because we had this rejection off of upper view up which is right here and took the short at r3 breakdown added to the position at the break of lower view up but it came back right so my stop was above r4 and above the pre-market high which was um it was like at 152.25 or something like that right so it pulled back hit r4 rejected off of r4 and this candle right here was my inclination that okay i'm gonna hold on to this trade for 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 the day to see like what really happens right so as we came back down to to r3 broke below r3 i added to the position again and you know we swerved down here to lower view up which is this green line right here pull back up and we ran into upper view up again which is this red line right here right lost that got the rejection off of that came back down to r3 so we're kind of moving a little we have some sideways action right but we're not even getting back to, to r4 and we're we're not getting even above um, upper VWAP, which is that red line right there, right? So I was looking at it also as this is one top. Actually, okay, let's say this is one top here at the open. 
we have another top at R4 we have another top here and another one right so that's one two three four tops right and then we start getting this kind of move with this um moving downwards price action lost r3 and this is when i thought well yeah we're definitely gonna get it because after four tops right i mean three tops is good enough to to get a sell-off right but after four tops this nice selling off candle right here then um this kind of doji candle i was like yeah this is gonna sell off then we broke our tree nicely and started to move down these candles were kind of kind of small so i was looking at that to see well what's going on there but then we actually lost um lower vwap with a nice sell-off candle right let me see if i could um make this a little bigger now hold on right so yeah so then we got this nice nice breakdown right here of lower vwap had a little retest and then we got the flush down heavy volume look at that 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 volume is looking like opening volume right there right that's about three million shares right there so everyone it's like um tor was saying in the in the chat bbt chat room beable traders he was saying these low these people who were who were very bullish on apple they were they were just they just felt like damn i'm wrong about this position right because they were so confident with all this bullishness going on that you know they jumped into the position heavy right and when you see you start losing 150 150 50 right now when you start losing that everybody just sold out you start getting those stop losses hit like all this all this area right here is stop losses right from people coming in at, at the open and stuff like that all that is stop losses even from friday this is a stop loss area that's why you got this trigger right here three million shares selling off right here right then we got the little the little well this is to me this is market makers they just kind of stop the bleeding right because it's one thing about the market makers they don't want to just scare everyone out the market right they need buyers to come back in right here so they would kind of slow down start buying so so the reversal traders the bullish reversal traders would start jumping in right here right and they're gonna get disappointed again because sellers need buyers right so the bears stomped again right more volume less volume right but then the bears came in here even harder and just start stomping down stomp just short short selling and it's um bullish covering and stuff like that long covering so I decided well after we push back up a little bit here up to s4 kind of up to s4 i decided to take a partial right here just just for you know safekeeping put something in the till you know then we got this um, little wick rejection right here so i decided to take another partial right here at um, s6 camera ruler s6 right there then took another partial as we pop back up and I set a trailing stop of I think it was 75 cents and finally all out right here right I think that was um, let's see let's see what price level these partials were at so first partial was at 148.32 second partial was 147.54 third partial was 147.44 and then all out right here at 148.14 and i think it's really gonna break down probably to like um i would say 146.90 147 at least 147 i think we're gonna get to but i'm good for today you know and let me just make sure all my positions are covered because i see this still this average price is still here so that's not really supposed to be there if i covered all my position already but who knows yeah looking at looking at my um my level two there's no open position so i don't know why that average price is still right there at 148.64 but stuff like that you gotta keep an eye on you gotta make sure when you're trading that you cover all your bases you know because leaving some on and then it rip it, it rips back up here 
you know it could just destroy the day and today is like um let me see let me do some quick calculations right now right today is like i would say it's probably like a a 15 hour day yeah this is probably like a 15 hour day so this day has actually made up for a lot of the losses that that i incurred like over last week and stuff like that all these little little cuts you know that cause little bleeding in your in your pnl and stuff like that these are the home run trades that actually that actually just reimburse you for for your trouble so to speak you know what i'm saying like all the all the little um, losses i took this trade has made up for it and gave me gave me some some profit as well so it's just it's just a matter of keeping your losses small and then when these trades hit your pnl is just gonna gonna blow up you know what i mean well not blow up that's the wrong term for, for um to describe your your account you know because when you blow up you really lose everything so this is for when you when your pnl really skyrockets you know what i mean so there was a couple times like i took i took some hits which wasn't really that small so it's just a matter of discipline and keeping my trading psychology intact so that i just get little cuts you know so i could bleed just a little bit not too much right you know those little cuts where you just get a little scratch and by the next day is it's already healed up that's the kind of that's the kind of losses you want to take you don't want to take big gashes where you have to get like 15 20 stitches you know what i'm saying so yeah man just trying to stay wise in life and in these markets man and it it ain't easy because this stuff i don't know man it, it's it's challenging it's challenging and a lot of people say even like really intelligent people with with phds and all kind of degrees and stuff say this is the hardest thing they've ever done and i don't have no phd or nothing like that i'm just i'm just to me i'm just a regular guy you know what i mean i have i guess well i wouldn't call myself a regular guy man i have some intelligence but it's not like like some guys with degrees and who really like have master's degrees in finance and all kind of stuff like that even them have trouble with trading you know it's 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 a difficult thing man it's a difficult thing but um i'm persevering and i'm getting through i'm getting through so last week i was really feeling like man i hate i hate trading man this 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 market is just crazy man but it's days like this that kind of you know it, it pulls you back it pulls you back you know what i mean all right, y'all, it's King Yadiya, a.k.a. King Solomon, staying wise in life and in these markets, and y'all trade safe and stay blessed.